Hello everyone, and welcome back to the official YouTube channel of Amit Ranjan. Today, we're delving into a fascinating yet concerning topic, GPS signal spoofing on aircraft. We'll explore what it is, the potential risks and implications, and most importantly, how it can be mitigated. So, if you're ready to learn, let's dive right in. Before we dive into aircraft-related issues, let's first understand what GPS signal spoofing is. GPS, or Global Positioning System, relies on satellites to provide accurate location and timing information. GPS signal spoofing is defined as the surreptitious replacement of a true satellite signal with a manipulated satellite that can cause a GPS receiver to output an erroneous position and time. This definition comes from the US Radio Technical Commission for Aeronautics, which develops technical guidance for government regulatory authorities. Now let us understand the difference between GPS jamming and GPS spoofing. GPS jamming is not as insidious as spoofing and airlines and pilots are know how to cope with it. For one, the flickering readings instantly reveal that GPS signals are being jammed. GPS jamming is quite routine on long-haul flights. These can be seen often, while entering Russia from the North Pole, or say near Estonian border, in areas around Simfropol, in Crimea. These are numerous checklists to handle jamming. We rely on aircraft's navigation system that doesn't take inputs from GPS. Spoofing on the other hand, isn't immediately apparent. The aircraft's GPS receiver doesn't know that it is reading false GPS signals, the aircraft's flight management system accepts fake GPS signs and the aircraft is redirected to go off its intended course. Captain. Amit Singh, air safety expert said, in most commercial jets, the aircraft navigation system will show that the aircraft's internal reference system, IRAs, position and GPS position disagree. The pilots should disable GPS inputs. If they fail to and continue to go off their route, ATC will alert them. How dangerous is this? UM-688 is a busy route. Most of the traffic from West Asia to Europe to US route from here. There are active conflict zones with military activity going on and so staying off the flight plan isn't safe. What looked the targeted pilots by surprise was how the fake GPS signals succeeded in manipulating the IRS, which is independent, standalone system that can compute GPS position without GPS signals help. This has much to do with the way the IRS system works in modern airline jets. Each aircraft has two three independent IRAs and two independent GPS receivers, which calculate the aircraft's position. But as IRAs is prone to errors. In many modern airliner jets, IRAs and GPS inputs are used to compute a GPIRS position. When fake GPS signals are received by the aircraft, a wrong GPIRS position is computed. The aircraft system will show a disagreement between IRS and GPS signal and if at this point crew do not disable the GPS signals, the aircraft will be steered off its flight path said Captain Amit Singh. Now, let's talk about the risks and implications of GPS signal spoofing on aircraft. Navigation errors. GPS spoofing can mislead aircraft navigation systems, causing them to deviate from their intended flight paths. Safety hazards. It can lead to unsafe conditions during takeoff, landing, and in flight, potentially causing accidents. Cybersecurity threats Spoofing can also be used by cybercriminals to target aircraft systems, posing security risks. To illustrate the seriousness of GPS signal spoofing, let's take a look at some real world examples. As per the data shared by Ops Group, which runs a flight data intelligence crowdsourcing website, most of the recent GPS spoofing happened in Airway UM-688 in Iran's airspace. In the response, the US Federal Aviation Administration FA, issued a memo to airlines titled, Iraq, Azerbaijan's GPS jamming and spoofing possess a serious risk. In the last two weeks, 20 reports of GPS spoofing on aircraft such as Boeing 777, 747 and 737, and others like Embraer 190, 600, Flacom 8X, Challenger 650 and Global Express have come in from airspace in and around Iran. Now that we understand the risks, let's discuss how we can mitigate GPS signal spoofing on aircraft. Encrypted signals. Use encrypted GPS signals that are harder to spoof. Redundancy. Implement multiple navigation systems on aircraft to cross-verify location data. Jammer detection. Equip aircraft with systems that can detect GPS jamming and spoofing attempts. 
regulations, enforce strict regulations against the use of GPS jammers, and impose severe penalties for violations. Conclusion In conclusion, GPS signal spoofing on aircraft is a significant concern with potential safety and security implications. However, with the right mitigation strategies in place, we can minimize these risks and ensure safer skies for everyone. That wraps up today's video on GPS signal spoofing on aircraft. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging content. And as always, feel free to leave your questions and comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.